front of all the staff this morning with this presentation. That should be okay. Um, what I didn't mention, but it was up on the screen, was that really we only had 49 working days to get stuff done uh, this summer. And as you'll see here, there was a lot of other things going on during this time as well. So I, I want to take a minute and just point out some some of my team. All their names are up there. Um, our maintenance and grounds team, despite all the weather this summer, we know how the rain was and the weeds grew and the uh, brutal heat we had, they were still able to maintain and upgrade our schools beyond any of my expectations, my entire team. Um, one thing we did do a little different this year, I'm not sure if it had been done in the past, but uh, we hired some summer help and designated them solely as a paint crew. It allowed us to get over 20 rooms throughout the district painted this summer. So middle school, despite having half the summer help that it's had in the past, uh, was still able to get our school all ready for staff and students starting as early as last week, actually. Uh, Woodland, while having 25% of its building under construction for the entire summer, uh, still now some little things being done, and some areas they weren't even able to get into until this past weekend, so they did work all through the weekend. Uh, but now we are, as well, ready for our students on Thursday. ALT had a flooring project that covered 75% of the hallways. This project also had many different setbacks, but we were still able to get the building ready and we're ready to open on Thursday. Mount Horeb had uh, summer fun for almost 30 out of those 49 work days. <laughs> Doesn't really leave us a whole lot of time to do things. So that building as well, they were working right up through this past weekend, but we're ready. We're ready for our students on Thursday. And Central School, with all this other work being done at the other schools, as you can imagine, now hosted almost all of our summer programs, which did not allow them much time either to get things done. But I was just over there finishing up a few things. But we are ready for our students on Thursday. <laughs> and I do want to mention some of the names we should not forget. Our, our, I'll call them our silent summer workers that worked all through the summer to make sure that we're ready for our bus routes on Thursday, ensure that our warehouse kept moving, packages kept being delivered to the schools, inner office mail continued so that we could keep things rolling, um, and implemented some new security protocols that's going to be for our visitors and our substitutes and our new before and after care programs. So let's see some evidence of what went on this summer. So we did inside work and outside work. So we have uh, middle school, there's a bike path actually that goes through the woods back here that goes out into a dead end street. And we had some drainage issues there that we had to uh, replace the drainage and do some paving and put up a little fence there. Uh, Woodland School got some new cafeteria tables, nice little curve that Mr. Heaney picked out there. They're pretty nice little tables. <laughs> and then there's our paint crew, there's Paint and Central's foyer. They're hard at work there, the, the summer, summer help we hired. So the biggest project, I guess I would say, biggest project that happened in one place, it was, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, it was almost a million dollar project we had uh, for Woodland's HVAC work. So here's some pictures of it. This is the, what it looks like up above these drop ceilings, but this is at Woodland's where there's a, some pretty decent sized wood beams there. Um, and that's a picture of the roof once they started punching some holes through the roof there for the new units. Duck work. There was duck work everywhere in this building as we were laying it all out, putting it all together, getting it all up above those drop ceilings. Some drop ceilings actually had to come completely down to be able to do this. There's the hallway drop ceilings. You can see how part of the drop ceiling is down there in one of the classrooms. We tried to clear as much stuff out of the way and protect as much as we could while the work was going on. There's our new units. A whole bunch of them stacked on top of the roof there in that top picture. A bunch of new rooftop units now. So each room has its own separate controls. So if one unit does happen to go down on us, we don't end up losing the whole wing. Where the way it was heated prior was one unit, that unit went down, we would lose the entire wing. Uh, this way every room has its own individual and we're able to still maintain other classrooms if we do have a mechanical failure. And new drop ceilings. So all the rooms that were affected all got brand new drop ceilings in them too, which really brightens up the place and, and makes it look a lot nicer. That's a finished, fin almost finished classroom. Teacher was still setting up, but I snuck in and snapped a picture uh, when they weren't looking. So ALT hallways, 75% of the hallways, all the main areas in the hallways got replaced. You can see we had some cracks in the floor that's on the right there. On the left is kind of a long draw down the hallway of all the different, uh, you know, with all the tile and the cove base removed. Here's kind of midway in the project. One of the setbacks where I had to start doing some demo on my own on the right there, and then once the contractors came in, they were really flying through it with that machine that's actually up in that left corner and uh, loading up that barrel one after another to get rid of the floor tile. 
Here's midway through the project. So on the left there, the tile's in, but they laid out the base. The right there, the tile and the base are in, but we haven't had a chance to do any finish work to it yet. And here, the right one's still no finish on it, but as you can see on the left there, that's after we were all said and done. We got our floor finish on there. Reflection of the lights, looking beautiful. That school is ready to rock with brand new hallways. Here at middle school, we took a room, classroom, <coughs> demoed it out, removed all electric. It used to be a somewhat of a computer lab. Um, they were turning this into our yoga wellness room. This was phase one. So we demoed out. You can see the lights rolled down here. Drop ceiling, that's actually new LED lights that were put up in there. Some paint work, some new flooring, and uh, we're ready to rock and roll for our staff and our students. We did some security fencing. Uh, the top two pictures are both at ALT, one around our solar enclosure there where there was a solar disconnect, and one around our gas main. And then at Mount Horeb, we put in some new playground fencing to protect our, our students when they're in the playground to try and prevent cars from getting in and for them running out. Um, so Mount Horeb got some nice new fencing there for their playground. On the left there, Woodland got fencing on their playground too. They had some of it fenced out, but not all of it. So this now would allow the students to stay up in there. We can close those gates and we don't have any worry of them by accident wandering out to the parking lot or a car accidentally going in that way. Central School, there actually was an entrance off of Mount Bethel Road that would go right out onto our field. So to prevent somebody from accidentally doing that, when our students are out there, we put up a barrier gate now that should deter them at minimum from going out onto our field. Central School also had an old wooden retaining wall. I didn't take any before pictures, but there used to be an old wooden retaining wall there. Um, that is the playground area that they play on. We've had this, done some work over the years with the sewer line, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but this summer now, we put a nice decorative block to really dress up the, the playground area. Mount Horeb, we had found a structural crack along the perimeter of the gym, uh, about halfway up the wall. And we had to have an engineer come out and design this giant steel beam that actually came in seven different pieces and had to be put together and welded. And so here's a, so before pictures, we had to open a pocket in the wall there on the left to bring the beam into it. There's actually the welder working uh, off a lift in the gym. And there's the size of that beam that had to go in to restructure our, our wall at Mount Forb. Um, unfortunately, with only the few days we had to work, it hasn't been painted yet, but it will be. But we haven't had a chance to get it painted yet. Mount Horeb also had a, the awning in the front from wear and removal of snow, was, had a lot of rips in it, was leaking, was looking very tattered. Um, so here we had a, a brand new cover put on it. The structure was fine. The framework was fine. We were able to get a brand new cover put on it, more durable, should last us a lot longer than the previous one. And we don't have to worry about removing snow off this either, which will help. Uh, it's a heavier duty vinyl. Our grounds crew was really hard at work this summer too. I mean, you can tell just by looking at these buildings. Uh, throughout the summer, they may not look so pristine as we're trying to keep up with the grass as the rain was really brutal this year. Um, but before school opened, they made sure we got everything done, everything looking beautiful. Still found time to do some extra plantings where they ripped out existing shrubbery and installed some new. This is here at Woodland on the left and at Central School on the right. Central School's upper hallway has got a fresh new coat of paint. Changed the color up a little bit, brightened it up. Um, well, this is uh, the main hallway here on the left, right by the APR stairs. Here's some other pictures by the staff room there and, and the front foyer. Um, actually, when I was just leaving there too, if you ever go by Central School now, there's a beautiful mural painted uh, right here at the front foyer. There's actually two of them that were painted there. And the guy was finishing up and stealing it when I was just there before. So it looks a little different right now than it does in this picture. But we gave him a good base to go from. Pictures of our gym floors being refinished. And I pointed out this morning how lucky I was with this picture. Look at the reflection of the WMS off of that gym floor. It was just perfect. So I'm going to just scroll through. I have a, every school I took a picture of, but we refinished all our gym floors this summer. Screen and coat them. So it's not a full sand all the way down. We do take pretty good care of them throughout the year that we're able to get away with just a screen the top coat off and put a couple new coats on there. And it really seems to, uh, as you can see, they really pop. There's Central and uh, Woodland with the blue ribbon banner up in the background there. Bottle fillers, I think, if I remember correctly, we did 10 last year, 10 or 12 last year, and now we did seven more this year at principal's request of where they wanted them. Um, a lot more fresh drinking water for our, everyone who enters our buildings. ALT had some new cubbies installed. The room's being converted over to a kindergarten room. So it's new cubbies there, and uh, 
faculty lounges, while it wasn't all my staff that redid faculty lounges, a lot of the individual building staff put a lot of time into them, painting, et cetera, furniture, demolition, and that's actually wallpaper in the background. Look, that is ALT. That is, uh, that wallpaper actually looks three-dimensional. Almost everyone who walks in the room for the first time goes over to it and touches it because they can't believe that it's, it's not actually brickwork that is on the wall there. They did a very nice job. This one here is Woodlands. Um, so the left obviously was during our construction phase because it was in the area that had all the construction this year. So this was early this morning and Mr. Heaney just told me, he goes, we got the furniture in there this afternoon and it really looks beautiful. Here's Mount Horeb's faculty lounge. Before and after, some new tables got put in there. Tables actually, we had to put them together in the room because if we put one together in the hallway and then realized we couldn't get it through the doorway. <laughs> so we had to take it back apart and put them together in the room. But they look nice. I'm okay with it. Central's faculty room. They uh, seem to keep the tables and some of the chairs, but they made a nice little lounge area off to the side there. Nice fresh coat of paint. A lot of artwork in there. It really, it really feels really homey. Middle, middle school got some new furniture. Um, we got these nice, the more kind of an office setting with the round tables and the wheelchairs. And we have some cabinets too that we have to get put in there, but they're, they're here. We just have to put the tops on them and get them put in for the staff. Not so glamorous, but necess a necessity. We had uh, the, you can see the picture on the left, that valve to the right, kind of blue round circle there, was broken. And if water company came in to change our water meter and realized we have no way to shut your water off, we can't shut this valve off. So we had to shut it off at the street on a Friday when we were able to turn the water off to the building for a few hours. And uh, we had some brand new valves installed there. So now if we ever do have an emergency or need to, we, we'll be able to shut the water off and not have anything to worry about. Of course, more active learning spaces went in. Here's just some pictures of them around the building. I really like the carpets, the colors, all the paintwork was done. Um, that's central on the left. And I believe that's still central on the right, actually. This one's Mount Horeb on the left. I've got Mount Horeb, and I think I have one from Middle in there, too. Just a couple pictures of all the different furniture, different tables. As far as I could tell when I walk around during the school year, the students really love it. They really enjoy these active learning spaces. And my last picture here is uh, actually that's a middle school. There we put together a Zen Den. This is kind of while it was in progress, so this isn't a full completion of it. Um, it's going to be a place for relaxation and calming. That's going to be used by the guidance department here at the middle school. Good. I don't know. If, I don't think there's an ending one, right? That's just the last one, I think. Okay. So as you can see, we did a lot of stuff this summer, and uh, I'm really proud of my staff.